Hey guys, No Gas Nico here. Update on the battery failure. It failed. By failed, I mean it now qualifies for warranty replacement. I lost my fourth segment. Nissan warranty for the 30 kilowatt hour battery packs is eight years, 100,000 miles if it drops to eight bars. I just dropped the eight bars. Here's a picture of my odometer. Um, just shy of 82,000 miles. Uh, so I'm nowhere near 100,000. It's a 2017, so I have till 2025. Well within, it's March 25th, 2023. So I'm gonna get the warranty replacement. I need to call Nissan, set an appointment. I'm gonna go to the dealership, uh, take it in for a warranty claim and let them start the process. I've heard that there's a six to nine month lead time on these batteries. Um, I don't know, supply chain or whatever else the issue is. I don't know if it's materials. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I can still drive the car the way it is. It's a little painful at times when it's cold, but uh, weather's starting to break. It is end of March, so we're in the spring. So I'm not gonna have the really extreme Michigan cold weathers anymore. So hopefully this battery doesn't act up on me like it was this winter. You guys, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, check out my videos. You can even see the one where I picked it up from the dealership and I barely made it home because I couldn't even do 60 miles an hour on the highway. So uh, I called this battery a turd. I still believe it's a turd. It's, it's something that Nissan made that failed quickly. Um, that's probably why they only made it for two model years. So anyway, now I'm gonna get a 40 kilowatt hour replacement. Um, again, this is my wife's car. I've been driving it because it fails. It will throw a code and it'll stop. She drives, does, does a lot of expressway driving. I didn't want her on I-94 in Michigan and having this thing fail. And if anybody knows anything about Michigan and I-94, it's the busiest highway in Michigan. We do not want her having lost power and having to get on the side of the road. There's a lot of construction all the time. It was very dangerous for her to drive this car. Um, so I went ahead, I drive seven miles to work through town. So if it failed on me, not a big deal. I pull off the side of the road, I get lease by out, I reset the codes and I get going again. So anyway, um, if you're ever curious about those, go ahead and look at my battery failure uh, playlist. I have all the videos there and all that stuff that happened. So. I want to do some updates when uh, I do take it into the dealership. I'll update you on what they say, how long they think it's going to be, if they even give me an ETA, etc. So, a couple days, I'm going to call the dealership, I'll send an appointment, find out when that appointment is, and then I'll update you guys after I hear from the dealership. All right, so it looks like uh, this is progressing and progressing in a good manner. I'm not gonna have to deal with module replacements and all that other crap that I went through before. It looks like I'm going to actually get a new battery. So, okay, more to come. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you can get updates to see what happens in this warranty exchange process. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and God bless.